this is a follow-up to my explanation of the k nearest neighbor classification algorithm. In this video and the next one, I'll be explaining to you a simple way of how to implement the k nearest neighbor classifier using Java. Now, just to remind ourselves of how the KNN classifier works, we mentioned before that we may, for example, have a two-dimensional data. Remember the idea of plotting our data and having a feel of, of what the data looks like and let's say we have two classes maybe points belong some points belong to the blue class some points belong to the red class and we have a query point ie a new point and we'd like to know which class it belongs to so we can use for example we can choose the five nearest ones five nearest points and this idea of uh, nearest is that uh, we use some sort of um, distance measure or some sort of similarity measure let's say we use maybe Euclidean distance and find the nearest five ones let's say this is the first nearest second ne second nearest third nearest fourth nearest and the fifth nearest so we notice that in these five nearest neighbors now we have three belong to the red class two belong to the blue class which means we try to predict the new point to belong to the uh, red class because the majority of voting now tells us that 3 is larger than 2 as you know so 3 is the more than 2 i.e. the red class is majority and we choose the red class now if we have continuous variables or if we, if we have numerical variables then we can use distance functions like Euclidean, Manhattan or Minkowski now in my explanation I'll be using Euclidean distance so just a reminder of how it's calculated that if we have a point let's say it has four components so the point now is four dimensional w1 x1 uh, y1 z1 and for the second point w2 x2 y2 and z2 then the Euclidean distance between point 1 and point 2 is as you notice the square root of the sum of the squared differences so in the differences we subtract the corresponding components for w1 minus w2 we square it and then we add it to the square difference of the next component i.e. x1 and x2 as you can see x1 minus x2 had 2 means that that's just a way of saying that value is raised to the 2 to power 2 i.e. squared plus y1 minus y2 squared plus z1 minus z2 squared and then the overall sum we just take the square root of the overall sum and that's the Euclidean distance what I have done here is I've actually come up with you know, so, sort of dummy data set. So this data set is not real. I just come up. I've just come up with it. Let's say we have a five-dimensional uh, uh, set of instances or points in our data set. Feature one, feature two, feature three, four, and five. So these are our features or attributes or descriptors, as we uh, or predictors, as we mentioned before. And this is our class or our category. Uh, first one maybe describes the city of London. Second one is Leeds. Liverpool, London, Liverpool, Leeds, and so on and so forth. So you notice we have, we have nine instances or nine points, and in the classes it's categorical, and we have three distinct classes, London, Leeds, and Liverpool. And let's assume that we have a new point that uh, has feature 1 value of 0.65, feature 2.78, and so on and so forth, and we don't know what the class is. In our um, implementation, we'd like to find what the nearest point is uh, oh I'm sorry what, what, uh, uh, we like to we would like to find out what class it belongs to using the k nearest neighbor algorithm now let me show you my Java implementation what I've done here is I have a class called KNN um, and what I've done here is I've loaded uh, the values or the features for the data set in this matrix what you can do maybe is you can load that automatically by reading it from a text file you will notice that my implementation now is maybe customized to this data set but you can as you know I'm assuming that uh, you are familiar with Java so you can uh, sort of you know you use your code in such a way that it's sort of universal so it reads any data set n not necessarily something like this in terms of number of features so you can count the features and things like that yes now I've, uh, I've just manually loaded the, the points instance 1 instance 2 for the features as you know as you can see I'm sorry the same values and what I've done is um, I'm going to be using lists um, uh, again I'm assuming you're familiar with Java and what I've done here is um, I'm just going to take it to the bottom I have three small classes now a class called city to model a city ie every city class now will have 
the features and the city name which is the class i.e. The, the, the target or the category of the city so the array of features and the class name and then because we'll be measuring uh, distances between cities I'm going to save distances and city names distances from our query point or our query city and city names in a list of results so we'll save a list of cities a list of results and because we'll be comparing results against each other I have a class that implements the comparator um, interface and it handles the type result so in there we just override the fun or the method compare we send it two instances of class result and we compare distances a dot distance b dot distance as you can see now let me go to my main point I'm sorry to my main method the main method here let's say k equals 5 so we have a 5 uh, 5k nearest neighbors we create a list of cities as we mentioned before and a list for the results and we load the list of cities with uh, the instance, instances of zero and city name London, Leeds, Liverpool, London and so on and so forth again I just want to repeat that you can uh, read these from a text file if you want from a data set file that's up to you here I'm just trying to uh, uh, sort of demonstrate how things work and then now we have our query point which is again just an array of the feature values we don't know the class and what we, what we do is we loop through the cities and we find the distance between every point in or every instances, instance in the city list and this new query point. So distance in the beginning equals zero. And then we just implement the way of finding the Euclidean distance. So just subtracting uh, corresponding components, squaring them. That's how we square them. We just uh, raise them to power two using Java uh, POW method from the math class and then we just sum, sum everything and after that after we finish summing looping through all the points uh, looping, sorry, looping through all the components we just take the square root so distance is the math of math or square root of this which is this value uh, this variable here after that we add the, uh, the the city and the distance between that city and the new point or the, to the new, the new city to the results list as we uh, explained briefly before after that we sort the result in ascending order and then uh, according to the distance as I mentioned the uh, 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 class that implements the interface comparator after that I just want to extract the first k city names I store them in an array called SS an array of strings because here there are strings and after that uh, as you can see here I just loop through them print them off uh, to the uh, uh, standard output just to see what the results look like and after that I just again extract city name city names only now we don't need the distances because we know we have the first k nearest distances store them in the array SS and send them now to this method called find majority class now in this method this is where I do the magic of implementing finding the uh, the majority of the, the city names now find the majority if you're familiar with just basic statistics then this is exactly similar to finding the mode of a set of points or a set of values so if you've done finding a mode before this is very very similar now I'm going to stop here I'll be explaining this method called find majority class in my next video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time